All right, everybody have a seat. Go. Each of you are going to have in your squadron a chap. You will see us journeying with you as you go through basic military training. The work that I do is behind the scenes. I do the stuff that nobody knows about. I don't care what you call yourself. It's in my DNA to help you. I'm asked quite often by non-Muslims what the Muslims believe. Allahu Akbar. We cannot suppress our feelings of our identity as Muslims, you know, we, we should be open. Because when a person becomes a Muslim, that enters that individual into a state of duty and responsibilities. You ready to repeat after me? Yes, sir. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Takbir! 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 If I'm going to be in the military, I would also need spiritual support. I want to step up to the plate and say, hey, there is a void here. We need that. I don't think I would join the military today. I give you that piece of advice after having been through 35 years of military service. Why do you want to join force with a system that is hell-bent on destroying your own Muslim sisters and brothers? That was one of the first things I was thrown at in my face. Where in our religion does it say that you're not supposed to work for your own country? When I decided to become a Muslim chaplain, I knew that there were going to be associated dangers with that because of just the nature of what's going on in the world. And I was dead angry with people questioning who I was and my level of commitment and loyalty. As a humanity, collectively, we are ailing. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen psychological and emotional level. People on the outside are doing that. I find myself being called to do the same thing from inside in the military. <laughs>